Hey, in this video I'll create a bottle rotation animation. I've noticed in the previous rotation video some of you got confused so in this tutorial I've included every little detail for you to understand it better. Let's prepare our file in Photoshop first. I've taken a 1920 by 1080 file in Photoshop. First of all we have a background layer. Then this bottle layer. After this comes the bottle shadow. This is the group in which I've placed the text and the label. This is the text layer. And this is the label layer, which I have kept only for reference, that's why we'll keep its eyes closed. If I turn off the eyes of all layers, this is what it looks like. It's just here for the reference. Let's turn its eye off again. Save this Photoshop file and open After Effects. Let's import the file here. Select it. Make sure to import file as composition retain layer sizes. Import. Same import type here. OK. Drag and drop it on the timeline. Double click to see the layers. Here we have all the layers and the group. Let's lock the background layer because we won't work on it. We'll animate this bottle only and we want the shadow and the text to follow the bottle animation so for that we'll parent these two layers with the bottle. Click and drop this pick whip and drop it to the bottle. Also do the same with the text layer. Let's animate the position of the bottle. Press P for position. Add a keyframe. Move the playhead to one second frame. Add a black keyframe. Now move 20 frames forward. For that press Ctrl Shift page down and right arrow key on your keyboard twice. It's a shortcut to move 10 frames forward. Add a blank keyframe. Now move 10 frames forward again by pressing the shortcut keys. Add a keyframe. Again 10 frames forward. Add a keyframe. Again 10 frames forward. Do it again and once again. Place the playhead to the first keyframe. Move the bottle position all the way to the left. Good. Come to the second keyframe. Move the bottle a little bit to the right by pressing right arrow key on the keyboard eight times like this. Go to the next keyframe. Move the bottle to the left by pressing left arrow key on your keyboard seven times. Next keyframe. Move the bottle to the right by pressing right arrow key six times. Next keyframe. Move the bottle to the left by pressing left arrow key four times on your keyboard. Next keyframe. Move the bottle to the right by pressing right arrow key three times on your keyboard. And will not change the position of the bottle on the last keyframe. It's gonna be the same. Play the animation. OK. Select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Now right click. Select keyframe interpolation. Change it from auto bezier to linear. OK. Go to graph editor and give it a curve like this. OK. Apply motion blur to both the layers. 
Let's animate the text now. Double click on the group layer. For now, let's turn on the eye if the label. Duplicate the text by pressing Ctrl D on the keyboard. Move it to the left. Duplicate it again, move it to the left. Now duplicate it twice again. Move it to the right like this. Now select all the text layers and pre-compose it. Layer Pre-compose Name it Text OK Press P for Position Add a keyframe. Move to one second frame. Add a blank keyframe. Go back to first frame. Move the text a little bit on the left side like this. Good. Select the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. We want the text to show only on the label for that duplicate the label layer by pressing Ctrl D on the keyboard. Move it on top of the text layer. Click on this bottom icon to expand the control panel. Now change the matte option from none to alpha matte. After this, turn off the eye of the label layer. Let's go back to our composition. Here we need the text to follow the to and fro motion of the bottle as well, so we will make a null layer. Go to Layer. New Null Object. Select Bottle Layer. Press U to see its keyframes. Move the playhead to the last keyframe. Here we'll apply the position animation to the null object and parent it to the text layer. Don't get confused. Follow the procedure and you'll know. Now in the text find a point as a reference to follow the movement of the bottle. I think this blue dot in the center is a good option. Place the null layer's anchor point on it. Press P for position. Make sure your playhead is on the last keyframe, which is the stable position of the bottle. Now add a keyframe to the position. Go to the previous keyframe. Move the anchor point on the reference point. Move to the previous keyframe. Again adjust the anchor point to the reference point. Again do the same. Again adjust the anchor point to the reference point. Move to the previous keyframe. And adjust the anchor point to the reference point. Move to the previous keyframe. Again adjust the anchor point to the reference point. And that's it. We're not gonna do it on the first keyframe. Select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Now cut this null object layer by pressing Ctrl X on your keyboard. Go to the group. 
press Ctrl V to paste it here. Now parent the text layer to the null object layer so that the text follows the path of the null layer. Apply motion blur to all the layers. Go to the composition. Now let's see our final animation. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any confusion feel free to ask me in the comments section and make sure to subscribe.